Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is another one of those special cases and there's actually a shortcut method in which we can look at this problem. But instead, we first are going to just follow the normal way of solving inequalities, quadratic inequalities. And notice the first thing we want to do is put it into standard form. Standard form means putting the expression on the left side, zero on the right side. It's already in standard form so we can go on to the next step. So the next step is to change the inequality symbol to a equal sign to find the critical points. So we're going to uh, take x plus 5 squared and set it equal to 0 to find the critical points. And I like to write that in because that way it says that is not actually the case. It simply is done to find the critical points because that is not part of the solution in this case. All right, so we have x plus 5 squared equals 0. That means that x plus 5 multiplied times x plus 5 is equal to 0. In this case, there's only one solution. We have x plus 5 equal to 0 or x equals negative 5. So this is what we call the critical point that we're looking for. And let's find that critical point on the number line. Here's the number line. Here's the number 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Like this. And let's draw a circle around the critical point. Now, it will remain an open circle because we don't have an equal sign there, so it does not include the critical point. That's not part of the solution. We do have two regions. We have a region on the left and we have a region on the right. And so we're going to now test, take a test point on each of the two regions to see if either one of those two regions satisfy the inequality. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a point on the left. So we're going to let x equal negative 6 and we plug that into our original inequality. So negative 6 plus 5 quantity squared is that less than 0 question mark. So negative 6 plus 5, that's negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So it's 1 less than 0 question mark, and the answer is no. Since it's not equal, we can just simply put a cross over there saying that does not ink that part, that region is not included in the solution set. So let's try a point on the right, and of course the easy point always to let x equal 0, if that's one of the points in the region. Let x equal 0, and so we have a 0 plus 5 quantity squared. Is that less than 0 question mark? And of course we have 25 less than 0 question mark, and the answer is no, which means that the region to the right, region number two, is also not included in the solution. And since we have a circle, an open circle, around the critical point, the critical point is also not included, meaning there's not a single point on the number line that satisfies this inequality. So therefore, we can simply say there is no solution. Now, we could, of course, see that right from the start. Notice we have an expression squared and they're asking us if that is equal to le less, if that's less than zero. Notice that whenever we square a number, even if it's a negative number, whatever the number for x is, if this expression x plus 5 is negative, since we squared it will become positive and a positive number is always bigger than zero. And if we let this be a positive number again, a positive number squared is also bigger than zero, so there's no possible value for x that can make the left side less than zero, meaning a negative number, since it's squared, and therefore we could have known right from the start that there's no such thing as a solution to this particular inequality. But you can see that if you didn't realize that from the start and you just go through the process, you would have come to the same conclusion. And that is how it's done.